Hi, in this short video tutorial you will learn how to get started with ESP2 and how to use it for flashing firmware on ESP8266 or ESP32 devices. ESP2 is written in Python, therefore it works on macOS, Microsoft Windows and Linux. I'm personally using it on Ubuntu. ESP2 is entirely open source. It is available at GitHub under General Public License version 2. ESP2 is a serial bootloader utility for expressive microchips such as ESP8266 and the newer ESP32. The major purpose of ESP2 is to flush binary blob on the microcontroller. However, there are numerous advanced features as well. The required hardware includes an ESP device, for example ESP8266 or ESP32, an appropriate power supply for the device and an appropriate cable. Depending on the device, a different cable might be needed. It's going to be either USB to UR debug cable or di directly USB to micro USB cable, such as in the case for Node MCU. Of course, you also need a personal computer. There are numerous ESP8266 or ESP32 devices on the market. In this particular demonstration, I'm using Anavi Thermometer, which is an open source hardware development board for measuring temperature and humidity. I will be also using UART to USB debug cable and a mini OLED display. The process for flashing firmware with ESP2 includes three steps. First, you need to install Python, PIP and ESP2 on your personal computer. After that, you need to connect the ESP-based device to your personal computer. Please note that if you're using Microsoft Windows, you might need to install additional drivers so that your personal computer will recognize the ESP device. The drivers depend on the model and the vendor of the USB to UART chip. The third step is to turn on the ESP-based device in flash mode. The approach varies depending on the model of the device. Finally, you are flashing the binary blob using ESP2. Let's explore all these steps in details. First, we're gonna install ESP2. I'm an Ubuntu Linux user and I already have installed Python and PIP on my personal computer. Therefore, all I need to do is to open a terminal and to execute pip install ESP2 with sudo. This step is slightly different depending on the operating system. Please have a look at the description of the video for more details. The second step is to connect your ESP-based device to your personal computer. This step is specific depending on the device. In the particular case, I'm using Anavi Thermometer. The board has dedicated pins for UART communication. Now, connect ground of the USB to UART debug cable to ground of Anavi Thermometer. RX of the USB debug cable to TX on Anavi thermometer and TX of the cable to RX on the board. Plug the USB connector of the USB to UART cable to the appropriate USB port on your personal computer. Now comes the last and most important part, which is to write a binary blob, or in other words, to flash a firmware on your ESP device. First, obtain an appropriate binary blob. Anavi Thermometer is an entirely open source project and the default firmware is an Arduino sketch which is available at GitHub. Download the pre-compiled release. Open a terminal and execute ESP2 write flash command with appropriate port and bolt rate as well as a path to the downloaded file. Please have a look at the description of the video for more details about the exact command. Immediately after executing the command, the most important part is to turn on your ESP-based device in flash mode. Different ESP-based devices and development boards have different approach to do it. 
for all Anavi products with ESP8266 or ESP32, please press and hold the reset button and plug an appropriate power supply. The reset button on Anavi thermometer is connected to GPIO0 of ESP8266. If everything is ok, you see how the upload has started. It's important to press and hold the button until the upload has been completed. I repeat, for all Anavi products, press and hold the product until the upload is completed. The procedure might be different for various other products. Please check the user's manual if you're using a different product. Anavi Thermometer has a dedicated I2C slot for mini OLED display. It is convenient to quickly check that we have successfully flashed the default firmware. I have rebooted the board for a quick test. Everything works as expected. I have successfully flashed the default firmware using ESP2. Let's discuss a couple of frequently asked questions. Is this firmware appropriate for my board? It is important to say that ESP866 binary blobs are not compatible with ESP32. In other words, you have to compile the binary blob for the specific ESP device that you are using. The image info command of ESP2 allows you to check whether the binary is for ESP866 or ESP32. Here is how it works. Please have a look at the chip argument where you should specify either ESP32 or ESP8266. ESP2 is a great application with numerous features, including some advanced features for erasing the flash, reading the flash, or checking the flash ID or the chip ID. Type in a terminal ESP2 help to see all the available commands. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay tuned for new videos.